All right, here we are, Pronago, bringing you Annihilation by Dudkey, a StarCraft II campaign. This is the first mission, Mindless Creatures. In the world of Calathus IV, strange activity has been reported lately from the Terran settlers. The Zerg have arrived, and the planet's inhabitants seek assistance in taking care of them. To further consult this problem, Officer Maxwell Reeves of the Spec Ops Infiltration Program has set foot on the planet's surface, with the objective of seeking out the settlers of the area, and with their assistance, possibly find out exactly what is occurring. Only use your hero's abilities when it's necessary. Most heroes have limited energy and will not be able to cast their spells indefinitely. Alright, well, that's a good tip if I ever heard one. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's see... Do we want to go for the brutal difficulty? I am a glutton for punishment. A difficulty requiring great multitasking and micro skills, featuring tremendously more enemies and a heavy focus on challenge. Um, let's try brutal, and inevitably we'll go to hard. Press escape to skip cinematics. You got it. I will do that. Planet Calathus 4, infested Terran territory, a day after dispatch call, 2130 local time. Well, that that text box did not do him too well. I think I might have some dialogue option not on or something, so there's some... No, there is dialogue, okay. That's gotta hurt. The settlers got themselves a real Zerg problem, it seems, huh? Interesting security cam here we have. Command, can you give me some more info about that dispatch call? I'm sure you're aware of what's going on here, correct? Zerg, Reeves. They've infested this world, and the Terran settlers wish for their eradication. <laughs> well, I can't imagine why they would wish for that. Sure, but why bring me? Eliminating Zerg ain't exactly my forte. According to the reports, the settlers believe something unusual is going on. That's why you've been chosen, to look further into this. Your first destination is here. The Terran settlers shall elaborate you further. So interesting, we actually don't even have a real faction that Reeves is a part of. We've located a secure landing zone. Prepare for drop-off. Presenting. StarCraft II. Annihilation. Ah, oh, should I use should I used my trailer voice. I'm ready. Moving out. StarCraft II Annihilation. Well, speaking of Annihilation, that guy got annihilated. All right, so we have Maxwell Reeves here. We've got some some objectives. We've got a tip as well. Investigation specialist Maxwell Reeves is a powerful hero unit. Has a powerful railgun weapon. Reeves can also use the energy charge ability. And it uh, creates an energy charge that does 100 damage and stuns all ground units. First damage spell when using energy charge, Reeves fires a powerful sh round of energy at the lo target location, dealing 100 damage on impact. Targets are also stunned for a few seconds. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. As the mission progresses, you as the missions progress, excuse me, you will unlock more abilities for all hero units. All heroes start off with one ability and gradually unlock more as the campaign continues. Okay, that's pretty cool. I've always thought about doing this for Brood War campaigns as well, where as you progress throughout the campaign, you uh, actually unlock new abilities. It's something that I was going to play around with in my in one of my campaigns, and I'll probably do them in a, in a number of different capacities. But that just seems to me like something that... that is reasonable because it's like your your hero really is leveling up. So let's make sure that my settings are correct here. I think we can probably turn up the master volume a little bit, guys. What do you what do you guys think? Let's uh, set it to that, and then I think we've got everything set up properly there. Sure, yeah, yeah, yada yada. Okay. All right. So. Where are we at here? So, high-ranked member of the Spec Ops Infiltration Program. Reeves is a skilled infiltration specialist and is outfitted with several special abilities. Well, only one right now. He does have a pretty nice, sweet-looking railgun. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to lower my scroll speed. My mouse, mouse sensitivity. Is that a... That must be a mouse and keyboard. Uh, no, that's... That's fine. I'm looking for mouse scroll speed. There we go. Uh, it feels a little bit better. I understand. Better. All right. 
Wow, he, lo- he has uh, Valerian lines, it looks it sounds like, anyways. Some pretty grisly stuff here. I'm a big fan of anybody who's, like, attempting to really set a scene in, the final act. in terms of, like, uh... It's your call. Oh, okay, cool. Very well. you have my gratitude. Oh. Zerg, what a pain. Whoa! Yeah, you're not kidding. It's, uh, it's very painful. <laughs> I like his uh, railgun though. It looks pretty cool. All right, hold the phone. Let's find the always display health bar option. Always. Okay. I don't know why that was turned off. Everything is in motion to begin the final act. The final act, huh? It's the final act of your life, buddy. You've lost a lot of health. Everything I could have hoped for. All right. So what's the? It's like Alt Q, Control Q. There you go. Control Q. Whoa. Okay. Hopefully we find a health pack somewhere. This is not not going too well. But like I was saying, I really appreciate the, the attention to detail with the terrain, you know? You see a lot of beautiful uh, set pieces here. To begin the final act. That didn't there. sound good. That sounded like... There's creep everywhere. These zergs seem, really seem to have made themselves at home. Well, I can make them at home with bullets. Ah! Ah, oh, shit. Well, I guess we're loading. <laughs> well, that was pretty quick, huh, guys? I didn't last very long on Brutal. Uh, we'll, tr we'll try again. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I'd see, the thing is I get distracted by all of the eye candy. And I think, wow, check this stuff out, guys. So I guess we really do need to use this energy charge ability pretty soon at this point. Maybe on that broodling or baneling? I'm not sure. Okay, cool. It does seem to work on borrowed units. Where's that? Where's that baneling? Where's that fucker? All right, cool. We got him. Keep it up, guys. Guy, singular. Didn't want to assume your number. All right, cool. We've made it. Nice. Hey, the specialist has arrived. That's me. I'm special. You must be Investigator Reeves, right? Indeed I am, soldier. I understand you have a bit of a Zerg problem here, no? <laughs> well, that is an understatement. You bet. We barely have anything left out in the open because of those freaks. What exactly happened? Besides a whole lot of blood... It was so sudden. They just came flying down from the skies in small groups and started roaming the area, searching for prey. Even though the incursion seems small, our forces are limited and we lack the power to fight back more efficiently. Yeah, well, you don't say. Now the majority of this region lies in ruins. I was informed that you reported strange activity, is that correct? You got it. The Zerg have been largely inactive since their arrival on the planet's surface. Normally they're much more aggressive. This makes us worry. That sure is interesting. Listen, since you're here, I'd like to ask for a favor. You see, some of our boys went over to gather some additional supplies that we had lying outside our perimeter. That hive cluster was set up after they left. It needs to go down if we're going to be able to reach them. I guess I could help out. He guesses. He's not really sure. I appreciate that. I know you must be on a strict timetable, but it won't take long. I promise you that. Uh, yeah. Too many of our forces have already lost their lives here. I want to put an end to this. Well, they don't seem... They seem pretty ha happy. They're, you know, having a picnic or something. Can I get a heal? Hey, babe. All right, men, gather up. Everything is in motion to begin the final. No, 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 no! You gotta heal me. I understand. What are you doing? All right. Very well. I'm proud to announce that Investigator Reeves has decided to help us save our brothers. Let's give it everything we've got. Don't hold back. Okay, so we've got. We're gonna have some support here. How <laughs> they do a little dance and everything. That's pretty cool. Becky did a 
did some pretty good stuff. Time to roast some zerg. That sounds like Ahmed. Stun that guy. Let's try and keep this. Well, bye, Ahmed. It was nice knowing you. There we go. We get some suns off here. Railgun's pretty, seemingly a pretty effective against pretty much everything. Let's uh, take care of these units here. It doesn't have any bonus damage, so that's at least visible to me. And I'm pretty sure Bru uh, StarCraft II's engine defaults to them being visible, so. Alright, let's get these guys here. Maybe they'll join us if we walk up here. No, they, they're content to just have us uh, sit here and deal with this stuff on our own. Oh! Oh shit, they're actually killing our units. They must have killed the medic. Uh, the last set of broodlings. Now, I don't want to hurt my own units, so... Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> there was a couple of uh, stragglers. Thanks for the rescue, guys. You came at just the right time. Hey, man, that's me. There's probably many more Zerg out in the open. Let's help you out, Officer Reeves. Oh, they're rebuilding their forces, too. And then that those set of rocks disappear. Nice. Okay, cool. So we've got some units here. It's your call. It looks like um, our we're not going to be macroing this mission, at least not right now. So presumably we're going to be making our way towards this next area. That sounds like an ultralisk unit response. So we should probably be prepared to stun. Oh. Oh no. Well, I didn't save, so we've just lost pretty much everything for no reason. <laughs> All right. Why don't we leave uh, that marine there, and we'll scout ahead with Reeves and see what we can find. Okay. Pretty, uh, pretty solid so far, I would say. Pretty good start from uh, from Doug Key on my on his part, not on my part. I've played like shit. What the hell is that? What What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Says Reeves. It looks like some sort of psionic disruption device, but what it could be what could it be used for? Halt! Who's there? Says unknown. Oh hi. You're interrupting important restricted operations. <laughs> Scared to explain yourself? Excuse me? I have every right to be here. I'm on a mission directed by the Spec Ops Command. Hold on. You're the individual who was supposed to arrive and investigate? Maxwell Reeves, right? Ah, you've heard of me, I see. I deeply apologize for my uh, rude behavior. It's an honor to meet you in person, Sir Reeves. Sir Reeves. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing out here? I am Barry Baldwin, and I am one of the leaders of the CPG. A rebel group with the goal of bringing peace to the people who need it. I was sent here because of the same reason as you. To search for answers regarding this Zerg problem. So this rebel group must be on friendly terms with the Spec Ops guys. They chose me because they believed my goals and years of combat experience would be beneficial for this situation. Interesting. So I don't assume you know anything about this device. There's a lot of dead ultralisks around here too. Negative. We only just discovered it earlier today. We've been trying to keep a close watch on it since. I fear it might have some sort of connection to these Zerg. You do? In what way? Just take a look at all these Zerg corpses. You mean to tell me that's a coincidence? This happened recently. The corpses are still warm. He's feeling Zerg corpses. Why? That's disgusting. I suppose you're right. I... So far, no. But let's keep these things in mind and move on. You know, if you wish to follow along. Sure thing. I'll have my forces stay back and guard the device. Okay, cool. So we've got a new party member. That's pretty cool. What's up, cowboy? No time for chat, cowboy. What's up? What is your status? So what does he have? He has a drip. Whoa. Apparently, we're getting our kill- our, uh, okay, well, I didn't even fucking save immediately after that happened. I got my- my face absolutely smashed. When was the last time I saved? Probably way before. Wowie. Not- I- I was not expecting that, man. I'll- I'll, uh, I'll say that much. 
Okay, here we are. I kept all my units alive, too. So, let's uh, immediately quick save. And use the stun. And lose a fire bat. And... Okay. I think we did it. Alright, Frontline Soldier. Barry Baldwin is a hero unit as well as a leader of the rebel group known as the CPG. Baldwin is equipped with a powerful Gauss rifle to damage enemies from afar, and can also use the Adrenaline Rush ability, which is a temporary speed boost. It drains Baldwin of 30 life, but allows him to move 50% faster and fire 50% faster for 15 seconds. Alright, well we do have medics, so we can probably use that ability pretty, pretty well, pretty frequently. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, keep using the energy charge uh, when we have it available. All right, cool. We are we are proceeding. We are we are getting through this this time. It was just that initial rush that was obviously pretty difficult. So you mentioned you were part of some rebel group, CPG, right? Is it a big deal? It's a group I helped develop. Civilian Protection Guardians. We take civilian lives higher than the authority. It doesn't look like we can target air units with our grenades here. Let's heal up while we read this. The group's founder, General Arrow, was on my team during the Korhal conflict. We were a great team. We had some of the bravest soldiers that ever fought for freedom. Our obedience to the authorities was eventually trashed when our higher commanders decided to nuke an entire city of innocents just to save our own soldiers from an intense bloodshed. We were greatly outmatched. To me, that was that decision was the worst that could have ever have been declared. Those civilians didn't deserve to die like that. This is why the CPG was created. We strive for the safety of civilian lives and do whatever it takes to accomplish that goal. It's your call. I see. That is a noble goal indeed. What about you? What is it like being a member of the Spec Ops Infiltration Program? That is classified? <laughs> What's it like see you there. to be who you are? That's classified. Come on, nothing? I just told you about my past. And it was a very good story, I gotta say. Wow. What a guy. What's up? All right, well, haha's ha aside, let's go ahead and uh, take care of this stuff. Spine crawlers are always obnoxious. Ah! 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 Oh, fuck. Expect me to yell a lot whenever I see a, a butterling. Hi. Hey, thanks, man. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, you said it. I even got a Reaper, too. Welcome aboard, boys. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and quick save again, then. That's pretty good stuff. We, uh... We got him. We, we got some units. Oh, shit. We got some enemies. Don't kill my medic. I almost want to quick save after every single step forward at this point, because I'm worried. that I'll just get one shot. Uh, oh, hold up. Okay. It's interesting how the area, I mean, obviously the areas don't seem to like they're repopulating, because it's not really meant to... What is happening here? It's not really meant to, like, be a, an area that you go back to and have a lot of backtracking. And Jorgenton. That's right. Maybe it's left. You don't know. Did you just assume its direction? What a... What a patronizing sign this must be the main town the remains of it at least i apologize about the frame skipping i don't really know what i can do about that that's i've heard reports that this just happens on certain angles not a single soul to be seen things are looking quite bad damn i sure hope they're safe somewhere hiding from these zerg um <laughs> They seem to be pretty safe. Join us. Oh, God. Oh, no. They're eating her. And then they're gonna eat me. Oh, my God. There's no hope for these guys. Put them out of their misery. Whoa! No Reaper. Well, I think we are fine. We lost our Reaper. He was a hero. And he shall probably never be remembered after this mission. 
Honestly, the Reaper is probably just going to run ahead of all of my other units anyways and kill himself, so it's not a great tragedy that we lost him, I don't think. Hey! Oh, cool, we sniped a ba uh, butter Baneling. Banelings are butter, by the way. Oh, uh, that's an invulnerable set of rocks. It would have been cool to just have that unit be, like, it, not really visible or something, I don't know. All right, we, we got some more units. Look at that, backup has arrived. It's a pleasure to see some survivors, at least. Barry Baldwin and Officer Maxwell Reeves speaking. We've heard about you. It's an honor. How are you holding up, men? Damn bad, I'll tell you. The Zerg assaulted most of our towns in the region, and we've been doing our best to secure everyone's safety. Eventually, we were forced to fall back and fortify this position. Even here, we're in pretty bad shape, though. For the past few hours, the Zerg's continuously been pushing us hard. Really? That's interesting. I was informed that the Zerg's inactivity was worrying the settlers. That's the main reason why they chose us to investigate. That is correct. Apart from the minor attacks, the Zerg have remained relatively still since their arrival. Only this location has been under heavy pressure. We think that they may perhaps be wanting something. Something which I think we're digging into right now. Something you're digging into? What have you found? Let me go ahead and show you. Please do, sir. Enlighten us. These rocks were discovered earlier as we were fortifying this position. Readings indicate a strong power signal on the other side. What could be located down there? Whatever it is, the Zerg must be highly interested in it. You do realize what this means, right? We have to get down there. The answers we seek may possibly be waiting beneath. Well. What the hell's going on now? They're preparing more attacks, it seems. This is not good. That's it. You've got to tell your men to work faster on those rocks, soldier. They're doing their best already, I'm afraid. We'll just have to defend our base as well as we can until the rocks have been destroyed. Then let us help out. We've got to make it through that entrance. Understood, Sir Baldwin. I'll inform the troops. Awesome. So we get a macro section here as well, it seems. Nice. So let's go ahead and... Hotkey all of these buildings. We can't get siege tanks. Those rocks look pretty dense. This will probably take a while. Let's not waste time then and get working. Why is a reaper in here? Get him out of here. Better question, why do reapers cost so much... Fucking... Whatever. Alright, so... Um, we could get Goliaths, so I guess that's something to get. Since, uh, we can't actually get tanks, which means we're going to have to keep these tanks alive. This map, it, the map has shrunken quite a bit. So, we're, we're going to basically just be defending from this location, it would seem. Or from a few locations that are like this. So let's get another uh, another fire bat to put in that bunker and then we'll get a, another fire bat after that to put in this bunker and then we'll just build more bunkers. It seems like a decent uh, decent way to approach it. Alright. And then, we can start worrying about upgrades as well. Presumably we can get an engineering bay. Although I actually don't really know. Alright, let's go ahead and lay down stuns. Ooh, that was delicious. So what can we build? We can't build armories, but we can build engineering bays. So, let's do exactly that. Um, first, let's... Come over here. Uh, 
<laughs> Alright, cool. We did it. Let's, uh... Repair stuff here. Transfer workers around. And, uh, yeah. We should be in... We should be okay, as far as I can tell. Let's actually move this tank here. And what do we have for supply? We're still a good while away before we need to worry about supplies. So, let's just keep... Keep this roll in here. And I believe space for a supply deep over there. Obviously, we're going to want SCVs on auto repair in general. Um, we don't really have any way to see, like, an early warning system. I guess we could put down vultures and grab some spider mines. We don't have any research to get, so... All right, now we're getting attacked by multiple areas. This is where we obviously would want to split our standing forces. We did wind up losing uh, a couple of units here, so... Let's go ahead and bring... Alright, cool, yeah. That should be... That should be half decent and it's slowing them down anyways. Let's, uh... Let's keep building units. Uh, I should probably use this other barracks. Since I'm just not right now. And we only have one geyser that we can really harvest from, so... Our sensors are tracking you. I'll relay any tactical information I can. And, uh, let's go ahead and drop in a supply depot over there. Go ahead and drop spider mines. Oh, we actually are about to get blown apart here. Okay. I don't know what they did to vultures in StarCraft 2, but there's they sound so depressed to be a part of this this game <laughs> sometimes when you listen to their fucking unit responses. It's crazy. You know, he's he's just he's been through too much. Go ahead and research this combat shield's ability. I think it's pretty important. We still don't have an engineering bay, which could prove to be our doom. Our undoing. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And they seem to be coming mostly from over here, so... Go ahead and put down some more... More vultures and more spider mines in general. That was a great, great stun by me. I'll uh, go ahead and self-aggrandize there a little bit. All right, and we'll just keep making vultures. We can't rebuild these, so we just have to keep making a lot of vultures, basically. Uh oh. Well, at least they're. These guys are getting con hopelessly confused. All right, don't worry about that. Why don't you rebuild this, these couple of missile turrets? And we'll just keep building SCVs. Grab a supply depot. Put down another bunker. And we grab a... Oh, shit. Got Nidus Worms. Do something about it. You don't say. I thought I was just going to invite the Nidus Worm over for dinner, honestly. Whoa! Okay. This is a disaster. This is an utter disaster. Also, I haven't quick save, so... Now's as good a time as any. Okay, we really need to... We might be able to get rid of it just with the tank. With the uh, tank over here, if we do our... We play our cards right. I'm amazed that these vultures and other mech units can't actually make it through this area. Alright, whatever, now we can.
Oh god, I know. It's all a disaster. Oh, the aberrations really are pains in my ass. Please don't spawn a bane. Well, alright, it's definitely time to load that quick save that I just made. And see what we can do differently this time around. We might actually have to just focus on absorbing that attack. Wait, what the fuck? Why am I all the way back here? Alright, we're about back where we were. Nidus Worm is here. We're gonna slowly chip away at it. And lose everything we have ever known and loved. Oh, let's, uh, I guess we can just come over here and try and protect, this, defend this, stop this from being destroyed. Uh, okay, so I think we're okay. We can go ahead and control S here. And... Uh, we almost have infantry armor done. Let's grab that other thing that we try to get. Mostly what I'm interested in now is, well, besides obviously like staying alive, is uh, trying to get like a decent army of marauders so that I can deal with the enemy armor. Because that seems to be, like, the obvious place where... Oh, oh, shit. I really just fucked myself with that one, I think. Oh, I'm getting fungal growth, and I'm not even realizing it. So that's nice. That's really fantastic, actually. There's a reason why that was changed into a missile, because there's actually no indicator uh, that's readable in StarCraft 1's really, really bad readability that you're even getting fungled. Oh, man. Um, okay, so... Let's just keep making Goliaths and... Uh, medics and Marauders. And we'll mostly stay away from... From that stuff. So... I think we'll be okay here. I mean, we're not completely okay. I think we lost another marine. But... They're approaching with so many. So aggressive. What the hell happened? The doctor is in. Oh boy. It's your call. What is your status? See you there. Right. We're making it through. Okay. Where the hell is my SCV? I I constantly have to keep replacing SCVs because. Uh, they're getting destroyed by... Move out! We've got another Nidus Worm to deal with. We do? Oh, it must be on this end. I couldn't even see it. There's Since there's no indicator, this in particular is kind of difficult to deal with. I actually had no idea that that was even happening. So. Alright, let's do this. Here's the door. We can sort of try and keep our... For this is sort of risky, so I'll save. We can try and keep our forces out here. So that we can quickly respond to stuff. And hopefully lure them away from our defense network. It's risky, but... I think it could be worth the, the risk. Potentially. We just have to sort of keep remembering to replenish our SCVs in the main as we uh, continue to, you know, spend more and more money and uh, lose more and more SCVs on the front line. Really, it's been this area that's been more problematic to deal with. I don't know, maybe I've just been more quick to respond to some of the other areas. 
But it, it seems to have been this area that's way harder for me to keep alive. Although we did just lose a fuck ton of units because we were too close to this area, so. Let's keep quick saving and drop another barracks in the meanwhile. Holy shit, that was good. Okay. Thankfully we can stun that. Mostly deal with that there. Whew. We don't have a energy portrait or energy bar on his portrait, so it's hard for me to keep track of how much energy he exactly has. Um. Oh shit, we're gonna need more gas. Cause I keep getting fucking medics, which cost 50 gas. Cool. Let's just keep putting down uh, Where does it hurt? The doctor is in. more and more spider mines as we remember to train vultures. These guys aren't really seeing too much action, so we can probably justify not using them as much. No problem. Okay, rocks are almost dead here. I'm getting a, fa a bad feeling, a fad feeling, something big, says Baldwin. Nah, like what? Your hairline? Ha! <laughs> I get it. He's bald. Whoa! What the? F what the hell? Indeed. I, I would have used a different word. This can't be. Shit. Well, it doesn't look like shit. It looks like I'm gonna get my dick kicked in, actually. Well. Just what the hell is that thing? That is a good question. We've got to take it down. We can't allow this monster to roam the area free. Stick to it, boys. I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna die probably. Especially, I, the butter is way more scary to me. All right, let's try and what is this tip? Powerful Zerg mutation. The Terran monstrosity is a mutation created by assimilating and combining lots of infested Terrans together into one enormous monster. The Terran monstrosity infests all units hit by its attacks, spawning several broodlings on death, and has a powerful single-target nuke to quickly deal damage to a specific enemy. Approach with extreme caution. Oh shit, we, meanwhile we're losing our fucking face. So I'm paying attention. Uh, well, thankfully it seems to be rather confused right now. Oh, what? Okay, we did it. Holy shit. That was fucking scary. Obviously, the fact that it got confused made it less impactful than it would have been otherwise, probably, but... Can you imagine if the Zerg were also spawning during that time? What an utter disaster that would have been. Alright, let's, uh, let's bring it on, like he's saying. <laughs> Great, the rocks have disappeared. Let's see what the hell the Zerg were so interested in, or whatever that dialogue said. Finally, it's time to descend. Our best bet would be to be only to send a small crew down there. Defenses need to stay on the surface to prevent further Zerg attacks. Yeah, no kidding. Good thinking, Baldwin. Let's assemble everybody and decide. Better be quick about it, though. Well, local player was victorious. That was a pretty cool opening mission. You know, there's some areas where obviously, like, you couldn't, uh, couldn't have foreseen certain things. I was playing on the Brutal difficulty. I guess I can still try to play on Brutal for the net remaining few missions, but based on how difficult that was for me, I will probably go down to hard, uh, since I'm not super interested in, like, constantly quick saving and then quick loading and back and forth. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I hope you guys have enjoyed the showcase, and if you guys haven't played Annihilation like I have not played Annihilation, definitely look at the link in the description, download that shit, and play it, and give Doug Key your impressions, your feedback, so he can continue to make cool maps like that. Uh, that's going to be it for me today, but... Tune in on another day for more custom content showcases. I'll see you guys later.